Hi guys, Adrian here. In this video I'm going to show you how to do some dodging and burning so that the ceiling of uh, this image looks a lot better at the moment. As you can see it's a little bit um, sort of grey and dirty looking so we're going to do a little bit of dodging and burning in Lightroom to make that look a whole lot better. I've done a whole lot of corrections to this image already. This was what the original image looks like and this is all done in Lightroom. I'm not going to go through all this now, but I do have other tutorials and other videos um, here on YouTube to show you how to fix um, some of these other issues that you get in when you're doing architectural or real estate uh, photography. But I will just let you know what a couple of things I did fix were the white balance, also just corrected any lens um, distortion issues. Um, Lightroom can do that automatically for you. We played with the tone curve just to get those things a little bit better and we fixed up. You can see it's overexposed in this area here and it looks pretty good there now. So we fixed up a lot of these things to bring it to look a lot better. But I think we can just do a little bit better just on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over to here to the adjustment brush tool. Uh, you can also press um, K on your keyboard for that one. And I've already created a short or a uh, preset. And I've called it Shadows Lighten. You can you can make your own. And the way you make your own is by selecting the brush tool. I just give it a little bit of exposure, a little bit more highlights. Not too much. And we'll take the shadows out as well. Just a little bit of shadows. And that's pretty much what you need to do. Um, you can also adjust the, fl the flow, which is how quickly the brush... Um, do you need to keep stroking over it multiple times or is it all going to come out at once and this is kind of how powerful the effect is. Uh, the feathering, which if we do no feathering, you can see that's a pretty solid line. Uh, we'll, un we'll undo that and if you have a lot more feathering, you can see it's, it's more subtle, the effect there. Uh, so spray sprays it on a little bit more. Let's just get rid of all those. Control Z to undo or Command Z on a Mac. So we're going to leave the brush with quite a lot of feathering because we don't want to make it obvious that we've um, that we've been editing, and that's that's the goal of all your editing as well. You don't you want it to look natural, and you don't want it to look like you've um, spent hours on the Photoshop and things to make it like an artificial image. So we'll keep the flow pretty low, so we could just slowly brush in sort of the areas that we want where we think it's a little bit dark. So I'm even going to brush a little bit of the wall as well, just to, just to blend this in a little bit. And this is not going to take you very long to do. So we just keep brushing. When you're brushing too, you can just, you hold the mouse down, you stroke it, kind of like if you've ever spray painted something. You hold, it, hold it down, hold the nozzle down, do a stroke, let go, do another stroke, let go. That, that's how I like to do it. Um, and that way, if you let go of the uh, mouse frequently as well, that way you can easily undo sort of uh, inadvertent strokes or if you've gone too far. If you hold it down and do the whole thing in one go, and if you make one little mistake, then you're fine. You'll have to do it all again. So this way, this will help. And now I'd like to play around with, now that we've sort of brushed that all in, we can have a look where we've brushed by pressing this one down here, show selected mask overlay and that will show kind of the areas where we've brushed. What we can do now, we'll just see if we can increase that just a little bit without making it too obvious. We'll just pull the lights up here. You can see also that it's going to blow the lights out a bit more. Just a little bit more shadow, just take the shadows out without affecting the highlights too much. What I would do as well is I would test to make sure that we take some of the brushing away from the light, just make sure it's not on these lights because I don't want to blow them out any more than they. We can create another mask here and we'll just do a tiny bit more brushing, not too much, just to bring that ceiling up just a little bit more. Just make sure you get the edges too, otherwise it'll start to look obvious. And if we come and have a look where we've started, that's where we've kind of started. Now I'll just do Control uh, Z again, we'll undo that, so we'll just put back what we've done. And then we might just have a little go 
just reducing the highlights a bit. So I've got another preset just with the highlights down and pull this down. We'll just see if we can recover these lights just a little bit. I'm not too worried about the lights because it's not exactly a feature of the room. They're pretty uh, stock standard, sort of fairly industrial ugly lights. If they were, you know, expensive light fittings, the architect or whoever you're doing the job for may want you to recover make sure the lights are looking good like one of my clients is a lighting manufacturer so you know it's imperative that we make sure that the lights look great but that should really uh, but in this case it's a that's not too much of an issue so that's looking pretty good now guys so uh you know i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh you know just to improve some of your photos um you can also do this similar thing in photoshop photoshop tends i find it gives you a little bit more control uh, lightroom's normally a fairly quick and rough and ready kind of job it, it does a pretty good job for most uh, most sort of clients and except for the really high-end uh, clients so uh, if you like this video just make sure you do subscribe guys and give it a thumbs up thank you very much